Can we get to the most pressing issue of the day? Nigel Farage uh, went on Fox and Friends this morning to discuss the national crisis that has been brought about by a comedian uh, making a joke in bad taste. Let's check in. Now, wait, who are these strange people on, um, on Fox and Friends? Where's Ducey? Oh, this is the this weekend is one. This no, there's a normal A team without Ducey. Well, it, it's on for like three hours, so they, they cycle in the number okay. of people. So wait, uh, all right. The so girl is the normal girl, and then... Who's that guy? Uh, what's his face? The left, I don't know. The dumb dumb guy. Kill me, right? Kill me, yeah. Okay. I wonder how kill me. And then the other guy, I don't is know. like doesn't spend the whole seven just being like, isn't it amazing that he's on but satellite? I guess and he's talking to us. I guess what's sort of uh, throwing me off is that they're uh, they switched uh, their seating situation. They're they're standing. Oh up. my they're god, for us, well, yeah, because really they had serious. a couch. I think that's what. There is no time for relaxing now. Not when you're dealing with uh, Kathy Griffin's um, serious threat. Let's talk about uh, any semblance of decency. Uh, Kathy Griffin, uh, a comedian here, came out and held the president's, yeah. uh, a mock of president's head. We've all seen the picture already. Um, do you think we've reached a tipping point where some degree of civility will come back in, being that both sides are so outraged by this? Or am I just uh, in well, another I hope world? So. I hope so. Two years ago, a very well-known stand-up uh, comedian in this country advocated publicly to audiences that I should be stabbed, would you believe? Uh, complaints were made to the police, uh, the guy uh, got off without any charges, and the BBC, our main national state broadcaster, still repeatedly used this guy. Uh, and when I saw what had happened, this, this sick image, uh, it's supposed to be funny, but it wasn't of Trump, and I'm pleased to see at last there is some kickback against these left-wing politicians who have got away with outrageous Wait, figures. What? I see this actually as good news, and I think we've turned a corner back towards something rather more decent. Hmm. Yeah, I guess as long as we turn that corner and there's nothing there as opposed to something else even further. Mm -hmm. uh, huh? <laughs> to belabor your uh, analogy... I do think it was inappropriate uh, for Nancy Pelosi to hold up a uh, faux image of uh, Donald Trump's testicles uh, on the floor of the Let house. me tell you something. As enough. much as I do not want to hear from Hillary Clinton, if she came out at her next, if she at the Wellesley commencement, in addition to blaming Russia and laboriously making a Nixon comparison, all of a sudden held up a mock severed Trump head... Not only would I support her return to public life, I might seriously consider drafting her for 2020. So the joke that Farage was made about Farage was made by comedian Noel Fielding, who's a kind of, uh, he, he does the Mighty Boosh, very surreal comedy, but here was the joke. It's actually funny. He does that? That's a bizarre show. So, so he said, uh, I'm a f this is his sort of brand of surreal comedy. I'm a fly buzzing around the room, and the pineapple said to me, the purple monkey stole my lamp and took it back to Nova Scotia. Oh, and by the way, stab Nigel Farage. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still allowed to perform publicly, and oh the my police God. did not interrogate him. The BBC him. hasn't... He's great on panel shows, too. Mighty Bush is a very funny, very bizarre... Very strange show. Yeah. Uh, Congress people, if I'm not mistaken, were have been caught uh, sending around emails of Barack Ob Obama where he was all sorts of things. And they're Congress people. I don't know if Congress, but certainly like political local, officials, local, uh, you elected. know, like in New Hampshire yeah. and uh, Carl Palladino, I think, uh, in New York. But, um, yeah, the point is Kathy Griffin is not a left-wing politician, yeah, contrary to what Nigel She's Farage said. But militia leader. Look, this is... <laughs> This is, um, you know, another version of the war on Christmas. Yeah, I can see how people would say, oh, that's in bad taste, uh, criticizer. But the idea that this is like the number one story for even 20 minutes on any platform uh, is a function of what happens when conservatives control all levers of power. They have to move. Their aggrievement has to come from the culture. Has to. Because they don't want to talk about the fact that what's actually happening in terms of governance. <clears throat>
Yeah, well, this is also something he and might And what is be... also true is that uh, Farage is a person of interest in the FBI investigation into Trump. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean uh, that he's uh, guilty of anything, but it just means that he is, in some fashion, uh, the FBI has reason to believe that he has information about what went on. And it's funny that he got invited onto Fox News the day that that, was, that news dropped, too. A little bit of a coincidence. Hey, Sam Cedar here. Uh, folks, you probably heard about the whole uh, YouTube uh, advertiser apocalypse. Well, we're suffering from it, too. We need your help. If you want to keep this show alive, you want us uh, to be able to still put out uh, clips on a regular basis, head over to our Patreon page. Here's the link right here or down below there. And uh, just give us a couple bucks a month uh, and support this program. Really appreciate it.